Hello friend! I had been thinking about buying a CO2 air quality monitor for a long time now, and finally I bought this Netatmo smart indoor air quality monitor. What exactly is it? Simply put, it's a smart measuring device that works like a thermometer, carbon dioxide or CO2 meter, humidity and noise level meter. The main feature of course is the CO2 air quality meter I've been looking for, and so far this feature for this device is priced around $120-$150. I got mine during Black Friday sale for 89 euros. There are not many devices with a CO2 meter in this price range, only some models. If you are using a CO2 meter for your living space, then let us know in a comment section. Let's do a quick unboxing to see what we actually get for this price. Before this device I have tried a cheaper CO2 meter from AliExpress for $25, but it generated its own CO2 values in a random way and it tried to fool the user by calculating CO2 values from changes in humidity and temperature. The box next to it includes a power adapter, the cord looks long enough, and another paper, I guess we can't really escape them. Looks like an ad for other Netatmo products. And here's another mysterious book. Why do we need all these books, we are not in the library right now. The device itself looks pretty good, but it's unfortunate that it's only available in that color, and also grey if you buy a combo with extra indoor modules. They easily could have offered more colors, it's not that expensive. I won't show you how to configure this device, you'll just have to go through manual. It's not the easiest way, and not the hardest either. I will now share my personal review of this Netatmo Smart Indoor Air Quality Monitor after almost 2 years of daily use. First, let's start with good things. I like that it's so small and unobtrusive. It's easy to use, just tap the top of the unit with your finger, and it displays the current amount of CO2 in a room in 5 simple colors if you don't like numbers, but still want to know the situation in the room whether it's good or not. Blue green is very good, yellow, orange and red are not so good. The device updates the data every 5 minutes to keep you up to date. A very big plus is that the device works in the cloud using your home Wi-Fi connection, and it can be accessed from anywhere in the world where internet connection exists. In the application you can easily see the current and past results, this way you can also test other systems, for example, effectiveness of ventilation, heating during night and more. This device can also be used with a power bank if you want to use it in your camper or car. I use this device every day and I can say that it has improved air quality and our well-being. Because looking back on the results in the past, CO2 levels were very high, just like in classrooms full of students who yawn and ignore the teacher. A study by Yusha Satish in 2012 shows that mental capacity decreases at CO2 concentrations about 2500 ppm, and concentrations of CO2 up to 5000 ppm are considered to be bad for health. However, such values have not been available after the acquisition of Netatmos. Before that, it wasn't the usual. Some things could have been different. First, a small battery could have been built in so that the device could be easily transferred to another room and monitor for a few hours. Secondly, Sometimes I would like to have at least a small display that shows the current information, because I don't always want to look in a phone application when I do a room climate change test. Some things could have been different. First, a small battery could have been built in so that the device could be easily transferred to another room and monitor for a few hours. Secondly, sometimes I would like to have at least a small display that shows the current information, because I don't always want to look in a phone application when I do a room climate change test and there could definitely be more color options for the unit itself, so that it can be incorporated into the interior more easily. Otherwise, this device is very fine and has significantly improved the quality of life. Every morning, I'm informed that additional ventilation is required, and I get notifications on the phone that something needs to be done for the cause. In the application, it's also possible to specify in which room it will be used, and after that, if you add the primary parameters, for example, if the child with asthma room is indicated, then the device checks if humidity level is stable to enable your child to breathe more easily. Maybe someone who is watching this video is also using this device and can share their experience. If you don't use this device, then what kind of CO2 measuring device do you use and what good things can you say about it? If you don't use a CO2 meter, then why not? Let's share our experience with others in the comment section. There's so much more to be said about the device, but these were my main observations. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, this way you support us in making these videos. And now, take a break and grab some fresh air. Ciao!